And as we went through the rebuilding, the focus, since the focus was on rebuilding, uh, we started kind of um, slowly expanding our focus beyond just the back office operations and bringing the capability into some of the frontline operations across service operations, across commercial, across uh, uh, engineering, across um, across how we deliver our new units or, and the operations towards that and so on and so forth. But as soon as we really aligned it to the entire lean journey of the entire gas power, our entire road, uh, uh, benefit story has catapulted multiple times. Like in the first half of this year, our growth rate of an impact across the entire company has been over 40%. Pretty much. We have grown our entire breadth of impact by around 34% across all the different functions. And this has really uh, catapulted the journey and has set, up, set it uh, as a strong foundation for driving business transformation across the enterprise for years to come. So when we went, to, uh, when we when we uh, made that decision, that, okay, we will, let's introduce automation. UiPath was a platform I was I had worked with before. I was very familiar with. Uh, uh, also, was familiar with building this this. Uh, uh, center of excellence from the ground up. So we decided, you know what, we are going to accelerate our journey. We are going to go uh, with a proven platform uh, in the market, and we'll, we'll see if we can we can um, uh, you know create success here at uh, here at Patrick. So uh, so once we made that decision, like like most of you are aware, once you make a decision to implement technology, not, and then the business wants it now, right? So we wanted to leap forward, and we wanted to leap forward fast. So the first thing we did uh, in order to accelerate our journey was we created a three-way partnership. Uh, that's with Patrick, with UiPath, and with our implementation partner, Capgemini. Um, the first one, shipping order tracking, goes out and talks to third-party shipper websites, um, APIs, Think systems like DHL, USPS, FedEx. Um, and it's taking that data, identifying the shipping delivery dates, and then it can feed that back into our ERP system. This was work that previous people were doing manually, um, estimated to save a big chunk of hours, 13,500 annually. The next one on there, that back-ordered sales report, this one isn't going out and talking to third-party uh, applications. It's actually looking at reports that are inside of our ERP system. Um, and it's interesting because it's it's analyzing that data, um, going through line by line and comparing, you know, purchase order details on the supply side to the sales order details on the demand side, and checking whether, you know, we can we have enough supply to meet demand at a certain date. Um, this was something that was being done manually. Again, uh, super manual process, stepping through a spreadsheet line by line, 